Hello and welcome to Evolve EDC. In this video we're going to be taking a look at a collection of World War II inspired gear that you can carry today. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you'll know when the latest videos come out. Also, you can head on over to evolvesupply.co and submit your email address and you'll be notified about the latest giveaways, EDC gear, and videos from Evolve EDC. The first World War II era inspired bit of EDC gear is the Black Crackle Lighter, the lighter that made Zippo the American icon that it is today. Prior to the war, all Zippos were manufactured from brass and chrome, but during the war, all brass was supplied for the military effort and not available for domestic use, so Zippo decided to produce a steel case. These cases had an unsightly and uneven finish, so they coated the lighters with a thick black material and baked it on, giving it the crackle finish. Today, they replicate the finish using a powder coating. These lighters are refillable, windproof, and extremely durable, and were tough enough for the American military personnel to carry with them into battle. This Zippo comes with a lifetime warranty, and you can pick one up on Amazon for around $12. Ray-Ban Aviator Classic Sunglasses were originally developed in 1936 by Bosch and Lohm for pilots to protect their eyes while flying, thus the name Aviator. The Aviator became a well-known style of sunglasses when General Douglas MacArthur landed on a beach in the Philippines in World War II. Over time, this style has become one of the most iconic in the world, and they also offer exceptional quality, performance, and comfort. You can pick up a polarized pair on Amazon with a gold, black, or gunmetal frame for around $150. The Will Leather Goods Men's Wax Canvas Light Bag is modeled after the iconic U.S. military bag from World War II and was inspired by the welders, factory hands, shopkeepers, farmers, and construction workers created to resist the elements and grime of our modern lives and is made from a dependable and rugged wax coated canvas that will resist water and stains and a natural vegetable tan leather which will patina beautifully over the life of the product. You can pick up one of these bags on Amazon for around $250. The AV-8 Lancaster Bomber gets its inspiration from the Avro Lancaster, a British four-engine heavy bomber that was adopted by the Royal Air Force during World War II. This watch has an intriguing cockpit position like dial, which displays day, date, seconds, and a 24-hour readout within individual cockpit-inspired gauges that mimic those on board the Lancaster. During World War II, it was common to illustrate the front of the aircraft with iconic images and figures of the day. The case back design is a tribute to this and features the Sugar's Blue art, which is based on the popular Varga pinup girl, who was featured in the 1945 edition of Esquire magazine. You can pick this up on Amazon for around $195. Retro 51 released a Tornado Vintage Metalsmith series of pens, and one of the most interesting designs was modeled after the P-51 Mustang. The P-51 is an American long-range single-seat fighter and fighter bomber designed in 1940. It was a fusion of American dive bomber design with a British engine and is one of the greatest fighters of World War II. This rollerball pen was acid etched and printed to recreate this classic plane. It has antique silver accents, a twist top, and it comes in a custom Mustang tube. You can pick one of these up on Amazon for around $44. The legendary USMC K-Bar is an icon in the world of knives. During World War II, it was one of the general issue knives for the US Marine Corps, and it quickly gained popularity around the world. The knife is made in the USA and features a gold-plated brass guard and pommel, and it's made from tough 1095 Crow Van steel. It also comes with a protective leather sheath, and the handle is leather, which gives the knife excellent grip. The blade is 7 inches long, and the overall length is 11.875 inches, and it comes in both straight edge and serrated versions. Today, this knife remains the first choice for many men and women who service our country and carried as a personal knife. You can pick up one of these knives on Amazon for around $68. If the K-Bar is a bit too much for EDC, you might like the CRKT Homefront. 
This knife was designed to mimic the classic World War II folders, but the one key difference is the field strip technology, which is designed by the legendary knife maker Ken Ungin. This knife was designed to be disassembled without the use of any tools, so you can wipe off a day's hard work without the need of a workbench. This blade has a length of 3.5 inches and an overall length of 8.3 inches. This lug style flipper has AUS8 steel draw point blade and a 6061 aluminum handle. You can pick up one of these on Amazon for somewhere between $50 and $85 depending on the color. The inspiration for the Saddleback Leather Co. Mountain Back Canvas Dop Kit comes from a World War II grenade pouch, which provided easy one handed access to the bag while still keeping the contents secure. This bag is built from uncommonly thick 24 ounce waxed canvas from Scotland, which is extremely rugged and water resistant. There are numerous internal pockets for organizing, and there's a leather reinforced grommet which you can use to hang the bag. These bags come with a 100 year warranty, and their company motto is, they'll fight over it when you're dead. And you can pick one of these up on Amazon for around $129. The Browning 50 caliber machine gun, also known as the M2, was heavily used during World War II and is still the primary heavy machine gun of NATO countries today. The 50 caliber round has an excellent range and was used as a vehicle and aircraft weapon. It's effective against infantry, unarmored or lightly armored vehicles and boats, light fortifications and low flying aircraft. To commemorate this history, American brass turned this round into something Americans can use to take part in their favorite pastime, drinking beer. This bottle opener was made in the USA from once fired military grade 50 caliber rounds. You can pick one of these up on Amazon for around $13. So this wraps up our collection of World War II inspired gear that you can EDC today. If you're interested in purchasing any of these items, you can check out the links in the description below. If you EDC some World War II era gear, you can share what it is in the comments below. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to Evolve EDC for more videos about everyday carry gear.